Ah, yes. When your washer just can't stop screaming. <laughs> Shut up! For fuck's sake, there we go. There. Finally, it shuts up. Yeah, I think that uh, that uh, squeal is probably going to be gone after a 14 minute spin. Not that bad though. It's not like um, Silly Sid's WD20, uh, WM23. You know, it's not like his. But it's still not good either way. At least this thing's still bedding in, so... I'm just gonna guess that's something to do with the motor. Because it's not... It doesn't happen when it turns anti-clockwise, it only happens when it goes clockwise. And not at wash speed either. It only does it on distribu at distribution speed, so... It's probably the reason why. So, yeah, my washer, my WM76P is literally screaming, well, squealing. <laughs> it's requesting help from the United Nations. Well, fuck the United Nations, they're not going to do anything. <laughs> what the hell? Ah yes, because a country has committed several human rights violations, we must sanction them. The fuck sanctioning is what I'm gonna do. It's like giving a um, a bully a detention. It doesn't work. Jesus. That just sounds so brutal. It sounds like it's already dead. Jesus. That's just as bad as the shitty candy, you remember that? That is going to really annoy me if it keeps doing that. You notice how it goes at, at, at like 130 RPM or something close to that. It just disappears so quickly. Oh, fuck yeah, I'll let it take that to 1400. I'm fine with that. Perfectly fine with that going all the way. Not shaking too much, unlike yesterday. Did a load of darts yesterday.
Hop et hop Wheels still there. Oh well. I'm just going to have to live with it, I guess. I do wonder what does. I do wonder what Fabric Care actually does. I'll check that in the um, WM72 quick guide that I've got. squealing on the clockwise wash tumble. Quite concerning that. Because it's a brand new fucking set of bearings. If it and I think that is the bearings actually. That sounds like it's starting to become the seal, but the seal's not the issue. Or at least I don't think it will be the issue. Could be though. But you know there is major issues when a washer just isn't sounding like a washer, sh uh, you know, a washer doesn't sound like a washer should. So, I guess now I've just got to wait for, the, for this monster to unlock and then just have it all over and done with. I like pulling this off. Don't know why, it just feels nice when I pull it off. Yeah, you'll be able to tell when it goes back to um, select program, which is what I'm waiting for it to do. Seriously, when does a when does a washer's front panel sound like this? You hear the creaking? Don't know why it does that, but I don't care. It still works. Yeah, that just sounds like the seals are starting to. Yeah. Kind of sounds like a seal starting to go a bit funny. Can't help it, but oh well, whatever. I don't really care. As long as it still seals the bearings from everything, then I'm alright with it. So yeah, I'm probably going to load this a little bit more and um, rerun a boil wash just to... Uh, Make that seal squeal go away. I wish I wasn't an issue, but it is. Oh well. So yeah, I'll get some more dishwas in. And I'll probably film the uh, maiden wash. And set that as a premiere. A premiere. Uh, premiere, premiere, whatever. I'm going to count out all the dishcloths because I'm going to do like 100, 120 of them maybe. 
So, yeah, that'll be good. So, yeah, see you then. Goodbye.